Oh man, I don't know. Do we want to do another drag race? Do we want the comments about our shifting? Do we want people to suggest we need to get these clutches replaced? Of course we do. Guys, stay tuned. We're coming at you with another classic ATV drag race. All right, guys, hey, we're back. I don't even know what we're racing today because in a few minutes, Jack's gonna come flying around the corner here. We're just hanging out back here behind the old barn, okay? We're hanging out between the silos. And uh, look at that tall corn back there. Beautiful. But Jack's gonna come flying around the corner here and he's gonna reveal machine number one. All right, let's see what he picked. I can hear it coming. It's definitely a two stroke. Hey Jack, why did you choose the blaster? It's again, but I think it's just gonna be a very close race against this next opponent. So Jack brought us the blaster. I like the blaster. It's a common machine. There were a lot of them made, but they are fun. And this one here is a little bit different in that it's got some modifications. Um, we'll go over those. All right, I hear the next one coming down. Uh, let's see what he surprised us with today. Here it comes, guys. Oh, yeah. All right, here's something you don't see every day. Definitely don't see this every day. Jack, what do we have here? It's got the Takati 4. These two actually were in the drag racing, no, not drag racing, the trail riding video together that we did. We have never actually drag raced these two, so we thought we might as well do this. If so we got the Takati 4. This is rare. You're not going to see these very often. All right, guys, what we got here in the Kawasaki Takati is the 1987 model. These were also made in 1988, so only two years. It's a pretty rare machine. I have never seen one in my life before until I bought this one. I bought this one in Kansas, and we hauled it all the way up here to Wisconsin. For the most part, as far as I know, this is a pretty original machine, all original plastics. Everything on it is pretty much OEM except for that Clem Research exhaust on it, which is pretty cool. You don't see a lot of those, and I don't know a lot about those. And of course, it has that funky pop-up headlight that goes up and down with the push of a button. And then the next contestant, we do have the 2000 Yamaha Blaster. Now, this one is not an OEM stock machine. This does have some modifications, performance modifications that we will mention later in this video. But other than that, it does stand there looking like a stock machine. And uh, it's a lot of fun. You know this machine. They're all over the place. We got this one locally here in Wisconsin a few years ago. All right, Jack's laying down the start line. We got a new can of paint this time, guys. We got fluorescent orange. We're going to be doing that eighth of a mile again, 660 feet. We are on the gravel road in the town of Lynn, Where do we County, have? Wisconsin. Right there. Is that it? Yep, 660. Jake, you're making a crooked line. Who is ever in the right lane might actually win because of this. I can't with this win! You ready to race? Oh yeah, I'm ready to beat you. All right, let's talk about these competitors. We got Jack over here. 5'11". 5'11", he thinks. You 6'1", and look, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm downhill. All right, but it's... Probably. But what do you weigh? 155. Okay, you weigh 155. I weigh about 185 or right around in there. So I'm around 30 pounds heavier. One guy had a comment in one of the other videos about how much horsepower that takes up per 50 pounds or something like that. I don't remember exactly the comment, but definitely the weight will play a factor in this. But Jack, look at you, you're wearing shorts. It's you know you're gonna get flamed in the comments by at least a couple guys Good. for that. It's summer. You're gonna say you're not safe. 
We but anyways, guys, yeah, well, Jackson's it's summer. It's September 1st, uh, late summer. Really nice weather here yet, nice, nice and warm, but we're gonna get racing right now. Didn't have it on. All right, Jack's warming up the, that is an 87 Takati four. Only made two years, that's the first year. We looked long and hard for that one. That one actually came out of Kansas. And that's where I ended up buying it and bring it back here to Wisconsin. Jack's gonna warm them up right now, here he comes. Jack's warming up the blaster. You all know the blaster, a fun machine. Um, they were made from 87 to 2006 and were largely on change during that time. All right, this is the race rules that we're doing. We're counting down from five, trying to synchronize that, and then we're gonna go. We're doing uh, six total races, eighth of a mile, two races on each machine, and then we're also doing a race on each machine for the fifth and sixth race, a rolling start. So let's get at it.
some fun races, guys. I gotta admit, of all the ones we've done so far, and you can watch them all, go back on our channel. That was some of the funnest racing we've ever done. Most, mostly Most, close. Yeah, the closest, right? the closest ever. Yeah. What do you think, Jack? Um, I don't know. That's one fast blaster, in my opinion. But it is modified. That's. Yeah, I mean that one's got some modifications. That's not a stock blaster. It's got some porting work done on it, higher compression, and the exhaust, and that that's a quick little blaster. The Takati is new to us. We don't really know what state of tune it's in, except that it does have that Clem Research exhaust on it. But it was a close race. It was a fun race. All right, guys, in the comments below, let us know what you think. Let us know what you want to see raced in the future. And let us know our shifting was perfect. Guys, hope you enjoyed it. Jack and I like doing it. We're going to do more. We're going to get the 250R out pretty soon. That's oh, yeah. ready, and it's running good. We're going to stack that up against some of these. So, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great week. And remember, always keep, keep it real. real.